This is a second video of the topic series Ratio and Proportions. In this topic, we are going to discuss about identifying ratios. Throughout the video, you will learn what do you mean by identifying ratios and how to identify ratios. Let's try to understand this concept from this simple question. The question is, there are eight boys and six girls in a classroom. What is the ratio of boys to girls, girls to boys, boys to total, and girls to total? Before we approach this question, we need to understand how many boys, how many girls, and how many total students in this classroom. There are eight boys, six girls, and all together, 8 plus 6, 14 in this classroom. The first question is, what is the ratio of boys to girls? How many boys here? 8. How many girls? 6. So the ratio from boys to girls would be boys 8, girls 6. Then you can write that ratio as 8 to 6. Then you can see both 8 and 6 are divisible by 2. Therefore, the simplified version of this ratio is 4 to 3. The next question is girls to boys. Girls, 6. Boys, 8. Therefore, the ratio is 6 ratio 8 or 6 to 8. Then out of 6 and 8, both numbers are divisible by 2. So if you divide, divide both 6 and 8 by 2, the proportion is 3 to 4. That is the simplified proportion of 6 to 8. As I mentioned in the first video, when you divide it, you have to divide by the same number. The next part of it, the ratio of boys to total. Boys, 8, total, 8 plus 6, 14. So that ratio is 8 to 14 then you can understand that 8 and 14 both divisible by the common figure 2. Therefore, the simplified answer for the ratio 8 to 14 is 4 to 7. The next one is girls to uh, total. I think I made a mistake, so we have to correct it. So this is not boys, actually this should be total. We will make it correct. Now it's correct. Then girls, how many girls in this classroom? Six. How many all together? 14. So six to 14 or six ratio 14 is the answer. But you can understand that both numbers are divisible by two. So the ratio turn up into three ratio seven. Let's move to the next question. There are three triangles and six squares. Find the ratios to triangle to squares. Triangles ratio squares. How many triangles are there? Three triangles and six squares. Three ratio six. You can understand that both three and six are divisible by three. Therefore, the answer simplified into one ratio two. The next question is squares to total. How many squares? Six. How many total shapes are there? Three triangles and six squares all together. Nine shapes are there. So totally there are nine shapes. So the ratio from six squares to total would be six ratio nine. So if you simplify this, you can divide both number by three. That is a common number where six and nine are divisible. So it will turn out to two ratio three. The third video, triangles to total. How many triangles are there? Three triangles. Totally nine, tri nine shapes. So three ratio nine. Both are divisible by three. Therefore, you can write one ratio three. That's the answer for that question. The next question is, there are 25 teachers, 500 students, of which 300 are girls. Let's see what is the use of having these 300 girls in later on this question. Find the ratios, total students to the teachers. How many total students are there? 500, that is a 500 is a total count. So you can write 
500 to teachers. How many teachers are there? 25. 500 ratio 25, you can understand that both numbers are divisible by 25. Then if you divide, you will obtain the answer 20 ratio 1. 500 divided by 25 is 20. 25 divided by 25 is 1. Okay. The next question is boys to teachers. Now we know that out of these 500 students, 200 are girls. Then how many boys remain in the, uh, this group? There would be 500 minus 300, 200 boys are there. So boys to teachers would be 200 to 25. 200 ratio 25. Then both 225 are divisible by 25. So therefore if you divide both by 25, you will obtain the ratio as 8 ratio 1. This is another important topic that is write a ratio as a proportion. Means like write it as a fraction. Let's see how to write it. Right. Then they have given the ratio between A and B is 2 to 8. Or other than that, there are 2 ratio 8. This ratio from A to B is 2 ratio 8. Write the proportion of A with B. Part 1, A with total. Now let's come up with this, right? Okay. How to work out this question? How to write this ratio as a proportion? A with B, no? So, initially we need to simplify this ratio. That's the first step. Second step is, you have to write A with B means write the numbers, simplified number for A in the numerator and the other one, other one is B. Write that one in the denominator. Right? Let's come up with a question. That is the final answer. Let's see. We need... Uh, initially, uh, the uh, question is 2 ratio 8, that is A ratio B is 2 to 8, we can simplify that. 2 to 8 you can simplify both dividing by 2, that is 1 ratio 4. Then the proportion is A with B, then you can write A at top and B at bottom. What is the value for A? A is 1, 1, B is 4, 4. So this proportion is 1 over 4. So you can write uh, the proportion for uh, A to B would be 1 over 4, right? Then A ratio total. Second question is you have to write the proportion for A with total. A is 2. What is the total? There are uh, A is 2 and B is 8. That means there are totally how many information? 10. 2 plus 8 is 10. That is how to get the total. Then if you simplify to 10, you can see both are divisible by 2. So that is 1 ratio 5. Then proportion of A, write A at top with total, total right at bottom. A is 1, 1 from here, total is 5. 5 from there, 1 over 5 is the answer. There are 25 teachers and 500 students with uh, 300 are girls. Find the proportion of total students to teachers. The same question what we have learned in our previous slide. We know that total students to teachers ratio is 500 to 25. So both are divisible by 25 turn up to 20 ratio 1. Then proportion of total students. Total students 20 divide by teachers 1. So that is 20 upon 1. That is the proportion indicate for total students to teachers. Boys to teachers. How many boys are there? 200. Can you remember how we get this 200? That is 500 minus number of girls, 200 to teachers, 25. If you simplify this, both are divisible by 25, you can write 8 proportion 1, right? Then we can write proportion, we can write, our question is boys to teachers, therefore boys will write top and teachers at bottom. Boys 8, teachers 1, 8 upon 1, right? The next question. There are three triangles and six squares. Find the proportion of triangles to squares. Triangles ratio squared, three to six. Step one is simplify. Both are divisible by three to turn up to one ratio two. Triangles to squared. How many triangles are there? The simplified answer is one. Two squares is two. One over two, right? Squares to total. How many squares are there? Six. How many total shapes are there? Three plus six, nine. Six to nine. Both are divisible by 3. That's the simplified answer for 6 to 9 is 2 ratio 3. Then squares to total. How many squares are there? There are 2 squares. 
and how many total uh, shapes? Three. Two plus two upon three would be the proportional answer, which indicates this ratio. Right. Then let's see the, uh, how to write if a, uh, some kind of a ratio is given as a fraction. How to write a fraction as a ratio? That is a other objective. Let's see they have given a over b is five over three. A over B is 5 over 3. Then how to write this as a proportion? What is A? A is 5. B is 3. Then you can write A ratio B is 5 ratio 3. A is 5. B is 3. A ratio B is 5 ratio 3. Then X divided by Y is 52 upon 31. How to write it as a ratio? X ratio Y. X is how much children? 52. Y is 31. So therefore, X ratio Y turn up to 52 ratio 31, right? The next one is P divided by Q is 7 over 9. That is, this is not A and B, it should be P and Q, right? Right, then we can say P is 7, Q is 9. Therefore, the ratio PQ would be 7 to 9. Again, I had to make uh, some kind of a correction. Right, okay. Then uh, it comes like that. So, right, okay. Then we can say P ratio Q would be 7 ratio 9. That is the final answer for this question. Right, okay. Uh, hope you have understood the contents in this video. If you like this video, put a thumbs up and share this video with your friends. To watch more educational videos, please subscribe my channel and click on the bell icon. See you from next videos.